Welcome to another tutorial about Longhorn Physics. Uh, in this tutorial we will uh, talk about the concept of momentum. So here's a practice problem. We got a two kilogram object reaches a speed of six meters per second. What is the momentum of the object? So I always like to draw a little picture here. Uh, so we got two kilograms is the mass of the object. And it's moving with a speed of six meters per second. So to do a problem like this, uh, I always like to review all the concepts, units, and uh, symbols to go with the equation. So we'll we'll start with the equation for momentum. We take the mass times the speed, which in physics is written as a V for its symbol. We end up with the momentum, and momentum is also not m but uh, p. M is taken up by mass already. So, so before we uh, solve the problem, let's, let's take time and go over all the uh, important things, like the units that go with uh, each symbol, and make sure we have the terminology. Uh, feel free to pause the video and take some notes if, if you're doing this for in a classroom setting or for you know studying purposes. Uh, so momentum is P in physics. And so we also have um, the mass, and we also have, for velocity, we use the letter V. Uh, the difference between speed and velocity is that velocity needs a direction. It's also known as a vector, and speed is just a scalar. So make sure we know the units. The units for momentum are kilograms, meters per second. Mass is kilograms, and velocity or speed is meters per second. And here's our definitions. All right, now that we've gone over the uh, equation and the, the units and symbols for momentum, uh, now we have to apply some method to organize our data to solve the problem. I like to use what I call the circle label method. So what I basically do is scan through the problem and look for the units and match them up with the letters in the equation. So in this case, we got two kilograms. Kilograms goes with meters. All right. And then uh, reaches a speed of six meters per second. So, if we know that meters per second stands for speed or velocity, then we're able to label it correctly, right? Meters per second. And then if you combine these, you got kilograms meters per second, which are the units for momentum. So we're looking for momentum in this problem. All right. So now that we've uh, organized our our data, uh, whenever we can in physics. Uh, to solve a problem, I like to use what's called the uh, math triangle. So basically it works like this, and I kind of repeat it in all my tutorials. Um, but if you have an equation that fits the form A equals B times C, like we do here, momentum is mass times velocity, then you can put it into what's called a math triangle. So here's our A, here's our B, and here's our C. Uh, A always goes by itself on top, and the other two letters on the other side of the equation always go on the bottom. The order of where you place the ones in the bottom don't matter. So it, it really helps you see uh, your data and then makes the arithmetic a lot easier um, to, in solving the problem. So in this case, A would be our momentum, then B and C would be our momentum and our, our speed or velocity. Um, Again, the difference between speed and velocity is velocity needs a direction. So momentum P, and then now we just substitute our our values for momentum. So momentum is two, sorry, our mass, and then the velocity is six. So how does the mass triangle work as far as the arithmetic goes? If you're looking for the top letter, you always multiply the bottom two. And if you're looking, let's say you're looking for the speed, you would take the momentum and divided by the mass. And if you were looking for the mass, you'd take the momentum and divided by uh, the speed. So if you're looking for a corner, you divide. If you're looking for the top one, you multiply the bottom two. So momentum, it's real easy to see here, is just going to be 2 times 6. And so it's 2 times 6, which gives us 12 kilograms meters per second. <laughs> 